When you read the typical journal article in management and other fields, most things look just right. Measures are valid and have good psychometric qualities. Hypotheses described in the introduction section are mostly supported by results, statistical assumptions are not violated or not mentioned, and the storyline is neat and straightforward. Have you ever wondered, how come everything seems to be in place and so neat? How come my own research is usually not so straightforward? The reality that is usually not described in published articles is that researchers often engage in trial and error practices during the research process, and these practices are usually not disclosed. These include, for example, revising, dropping, and adding scale items, opaque choices such as including or excluding different sets of control variables, and other decisions such as removing outliers and retroactively creating hypotheses after the data were analyzed. What is the end result of this undisclosed trial and error process that precedes the publication of a journal article? If they try to replicate the study, other researchers are unlikely to reach similar results and conclusions due to insufficient information of what happens in what we label the research kitchen. Management and other scientific fields are facing a perfect storm. The pressure to publish in A journals, the increasing sophistication of methodological techniques, and the view of doctoral programs as cost centers because they do not produce tuition revenue means that many researchers either lack the knowledge or motivation, and sometimes both, to be fully transparent when conducting research. Even if a researcher knows how to conduct and report research results in a transparent manner, today's pressure to publish in top journals, which leads to important rewards such as promotions and research funding, also motivates researchers to not be fully transparent if transparency may jeopardize a publication of a manuscript. But lack of transparency has a detrimental impact on the credibility and trustworthiness of management research because it precludes others from reproducing research results and conclusions. In our Academy of Management Annals article, we describe best practice recommendations on how to increase methodological transparency to improve the credibility of research. Our recommendations for researchers, journal editors and reviewers, and publishers provide guidance on how to increase transparency at each of the five usual stages of the research process. Theory, design, measurement, analysis, and reporting of results. Given extensive research on human performance, we address what researchers need to know to be more transparent, and also what can be done so researchers want, that is, are motivated to be more transparent. For example, consider the measurement stage, which follows the theory and research design stages and includes how the variables were assessed. Say researchers are studying how employee creativity influences customer satisfaction. To do so, the researchers decide to amend and use a previously validated and reliable creativity scale developed for use in a manufacturing company. The validated scale measures creativity as rated by the leader while the new study measures creativity as rated by the customer and is to be used in an advertising company. Low transparency regarding how the previously validated scale was amended by, for example, omitting or adding items to the scale or by changing the wording of items to fit the context, say from solves problems to solve problems I have, changes the scale's properties and reduces the ability of others to obtain the same results and reach similar conclusions. So, increasing methodological transparency regarding measurement improves the credibility and trustworthiness of management research as it allows others to reproduce research results and conclusions. As a second example, consider the data analysis stage, which includes issues such as the choice of analytical method, coding rules for qualitative data, software, and the handling of outliers. Say researchers report that they deleted outliers, that is, they deleted data points that lie far from the rest of the distribution when testing their hypothesis, but do not state openly and transparently how they identified and defined outliers. Outliers can influence results, parameter estimates, and conclusions regarding the presence, direction, and size of effects between variables. 
Low transparency about outliers reduces the ability of other researchers to obtain the same results and reach similar conclusions because they are unable to infer if substantive conclusions drawn from results would differ based on the manner in which outliers were defined, identified, and managed. So, increasing methodological transparency regarding data analysis improves the credibility and trustworthiness of management research as it allows others to reproduce research results and conclusions. Even if researchers have the knowledge to be transparent, this does not mean that they will choose to be transparent, particularly if more transparency decreases the chances of publication in top journals. Journal editors can affect the motivation of authors to be more transparent by requiring researchers to certify that they followed many of the recommendations described in our Annals article. For example, Journal editors may require authors to certify that they reported results of assumptions of statistical models, the procedures used to identify and handle outliers, and reported results with and without control variables. These easy-to-implement recommendations change the researcher's motivation from not mentioning the decisions and judgment calls I made make my results look better, which will likely enhance my chances of publishing, to reporting results of assumptions of statistical models, how I dealt with outliers, and results with and without control variables is required if I am to publish my paper. Not doing so will result in my paper being desk rejected. Failing to address author's motivation means that we are naively hoping that authors will be more transparent, but we are actually rewarding manuscripts that, in contrast, present a neat and straightforward story based on many undisclosed trial and error decisions and leading to results and conclusions that are difficult to reproduce. So, steps taken by journal editors and reviewers, as well as publishers, can directly influence the motivation for authors to be more methodologically transparent which improves the credibility and trustworthiness of management research as it allows others to reproduce research results and conclusions. We are currently immersed in a perfect storm involving tremendous pressure to publish in a select number of top journals, increased methodological sophistication, and financial pressures on universities that lead to a decrease in resources for training junior scholars and retooling senior ones. This perfect storm often leads to journal articles that seem just perfect and do not describe what happens in the research kitchen. Low methodological transparency leads to irreproducible research inferences and non-credible and untrustworthy research conclusions. In our article, we offer 22 recommendations for authors on how to increase transparency at each stage of the research process, theory, research design, measurement, data analysis, and reporting of results. But just as importantly, our article provides 22 recommendations for journal editors and reviewers, as well as publishers, on how to motivate authors to be more transparent. We hope you will read our article and look forward to hearing any reactions and suggestions you may have as we continue to have a conversation about these important issues.